finish off, let's do one more partial payment problem, but a difficult one. An invoice for $10,000 has payment terms 310, 220, and 45. Discounts are allowed for partial payments. The company made a payment of $3,000 nine days after the date of the invoice and a second payment 18 days after the date of the invoice that reduced the balance owing to 2,000. What was the size of the second payment? Whew, it's a difficult one. So let's look at our invoice. Our original one is due within 45 days. If we pay within 10 days, we get 3% discount. And if we pay within, it looks like 20 days, we've got a 2% discount. At the beginning, it looks like we owe $10,000. Let's make a line here. We owe $10,000. Now let's put in our first payment. Our first payment was $3,000 and it was nine days later, so it got that discount, which means we actually end up with a credit of $3,000 over 1 minus 0 0.03 or $3,092.78. Notice that I'm rounding here. The rounding is a little bit contentious. Some people round at the middle, some people round at the final step. Here you'll have to figure out from the supplier what they would prefer which means that now we owe $6,907.22. Let's make our next payment. Our next payment is something. If it's something, I like to call it X. That X payment is worth more than it is because we get a 2% credit. When I subtract this, I end up with $2,000. So let me write that as algebra. I'm gonna scan this up a little bit. And I have $6,907.22 minus X over, I'm gonna simplify that to 0.98 equals $2,000. Now I've taken my partial payment problem and I've made it an algebra problem, which is easier because we know how to solve algebra problems. X over 0 0.98 equals 6907.22 minus 2000. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. X equals 4907.22 times 0 0.98, and that gives me 4,809 dollars and seven cents. This is the size of the second payment.